Climate at 280, American 261. Dick Rochford here. This is an update on a flight from Muncie to Flagler. That's 2349. It's in a maintained flight level 250. Palm Coast. And uh, uh, the, the challenge today is the weather. And I, I know what this looks like. It looks like we're going the wrong way, weather wise. Uh, truth be told, we're going the right way. The way we know that is there's the color weather radar. Uh, now, I've got this tilted such that I'm not painting any ground. And the way I know that I've got it tilted that way is because when I tilt it down to pick up the ground, I, I actually cover some of the things that yeah, I want to see. Uh, but the tallest weather, which I'm interested in avoiding, is here and here. So it's, I don't want to say it's not important, but if you're new to radar, it's a good idea to fiddle with this a little bit particularly if you're embedded in the clouds and it's bumpy and you're scared. Now, we are in the clouds and it is bumpy, but we're not scared. And the reason is, is we've, we've been fiddling with this for a while, uh, 25 years for me, and, uh, and we know what this represents. This represents, at least in the terms of these two events here, water. And uh, what I want to know is how tall is the water and judging from the clouds around us, I know it's pretty tall. So all I want to do is not go where the, where there's water because the airplane is cold. Said another way, if the airplane is cold, don't let it get wet. Ah, uh, but I'm in the clouds, you say, and therefore it must be wet. Oh, ye of little faith, outside air temperature is minus 25C. So unless the water is convective, it's actually ice crystals, as are most high altitude clouds, except for uh, convective clouds. So the idea is to stay out of convective weather. And the best way to do that is with a combination of a strategic tool like Nexrad, and a tactical tool, like real-time color weather radar. 186,000 miles per second. Not just a good idea, it's the law. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off.